completely not expecting to be called up Aviv or Gav. Council will you please come join me up here? So Aviv was a, a bad council member because <laughs> she, she missed. I missed uh, She missed immediately. Stand right behind me. It's true. But for a good reason. She missed, <laughs> she missed a council meeting in May. And uh, when you miss council meetings, um, we, we, what we're going to now do for now on is we're going to make special presentations when you <laughs> miss a council meeting. Excuse. You had an amazing <laughs> excuse. In all seriousness, um, we bring Aviv up here to embarrass her a little, but not to humiliate her by any means, <laughs> because this was a great reason why she had a missed council meeting in May. And the reason for that is on May 9th, uh, Aviv Gav took the oath and became a U.S. citizen. <laughs> Stand back with me, be to our photographer, get great looking pictures of us. Now, first of all, congratulations to you. Thank you. Having your expertise as a U.S. citizen is welcome. We, we, it's just wonderful, all this, and we were delighted. And actually, while you weren't here in May, uh, we, we were celebrating and rooting for you. But it didn't just end there. Because it turns out that uh, you are adored by NHGRI and you are adored by people at the Broad <laughs> Institute. And so we conspired together. Oh, no. And what we conspired to do was something special. And um, in particular, and they're watching, I believe they're watching this live rock. <laughs> Bruce Beeren of the Broad Institute was one of the conspirators that helped. And I give credit to Betty Graham of our staff, <laughs> who was NHGRI's conspirator. Because what you can do when somebody becomes a US citizen is that you could make a request um, to the US Capitol to get uh, a flag that they have literally wow. flown over the US Capitol as part uh, to commemorate um, the fact that uh, you have become a US citizen. So we put in an application, when we, it's meaning Broad staff like Bruce and our <laughs> staff like Betty, put together an application to get that for you. And I am presenting oh to you, which God. we want you to open right here, yes. the contents. Now, in a day, while you're opening it, this I will just show you, and I believe it's in the box. This comes with a certificate, and this is specially wrapped. Apparently, this is the gift wrap you can actually wear, I was told. And you get that as part of the, the gift. It also will come with this. This is a scan of the certificate she will eventually unveil, which was actually provided by the official architect of the Capitol. And you can wow. see to certify the accompanying flag indeed was flown over the US Capitol. In addition to that, a second certificate was, comes with a signature from uh, her senator, Elizabeth Warren, senator from Massachusetts, Massachusetts, to certify the flag was flown over the United States Capitol for Aviv Gav in honor of her becoming a US citizen. Here you can see the two certificates that I just showed you. And while she continues to unveil the flag, I will show you some of the nominating text that we provided said, congratulations to Aviv Gav, a distinguished genomics researcher, on becoming a citizen of the United States of America. Her past and future contributions, absolutely, contributions to biomedical research will help improve the health of people around the world. It's a little big. I it's a big, right it's too big? I have no idea how big this is. Well, it's a big capital building, right? So, oh my God. So here, I'll put up this last slide. Well, actually, maybe we need to do it. I think we ought to do this. And then look behind, no, you go there. You go on that side. And look behind you. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Alvaro, I mean, I mean, Ernesto, have we been able to get this? Are you wide enough? You got it? OK. Wow. All yours. Here. Now, someone's got to teach you how to fold this. Yeah. Uh, yes, I realized So, uh, and one of the things I'd immediately point out, since I know the size of the flag, is if Eric Lander doesn't have a big enough office for you, you should request a bigger <laughs> office so you can display the whole flag. I actually so, well, congratulations. Thank you very much. And Here, I actually, actually come, if you're going to say anything, do it. Yes, I do want to say something. I want to say, I want to say that not many countries are actually as welcoming to people who come from all over as the United States is. And that we, of course, I think all in this room hope that this tradition of welcoming will persist through these and future times, um, in, that, in that there is something very special about being an American citizen, about being a member of a country where everyone in that country, if you go further enough back, except for Native Americans, has come here from somewhere else and has still decided to make this their home. And so I'm very, very fortunate 
to have been allowed to become an American citizen. I enjoyed my day then very much, and this is an incredibly touching moment for me. So thank you so much. Yeah, now, now you've got to figure out how to pull that all back up. Okay, we're going to... Uh, before we uh, introduce, er Eric introduces Dr. Tabak, I need to uh, correct an uh, omission on my part. Is uh, Jennifer Montooth still in the room? Could you stand, please, Jennifer? Okay, I neglected to introduce her as uh, one of the new hires here. Jennifer is an assistant archivist working on NHGRI's History of Genomics program. Uh, Jen will curate and develop metadata for NHGRI's archi archival data set. Jen has a Master's of Arts degree from the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, in historical studies with a concentration in public history. Thank you, Jen. I will never forget you.